How can I manage content display on my Moodle site? Moodle has a number of filters which affect how content is displayed on your site. As an administrator, you can access these from Site Administration, Plugins, Filters, Manage Filters. It's fine to leave everything as default if you're unsure. Filters can be on, off or available for teachers to turn on in their courses. In the H5P filter, you can define the external sources teachers can embed interactive H5P content from. MathJax displays mathematical formula and equations. Activity names auto linking will link back to an activity in the course wherever its name is typed. Multimedia plugins converts text with a link into an embedded video or sound player. Consider carefully the options in Manage Media Players. Display emoticons as images will convert emoticon characters into images. If you want an emoticon icon in your text editor toolbar, you must add it from Site Administration, Plugins, Text Editors, that's usually Atto. You also go here to add an Emoji Picker button. Glossary Autolinking links back to a glossary entry in a course. This can be useful if the course has many key terms, as their definitions can easily be highlighted. Database Autolinking works in the same way. Multi-language content allows you to have materials with more than one language in a course. The documentation will give more information. To summarise, filters affect how content is displayed on your site. You can turn them on, disable them or make them available for course teachers to enable.